Hello everyone, my name is Steven Steele and welcome back to World of Tanks. Today I'll be doing a replay cast of my Rudy playing on Steps. Steps being one of my uh, preferred medium tank maps. So uh, I've done a review on this tank, I have it on my channel, so if you want to see that you can go check it out uh, and I've done a later replay as well. Uh, this is going to be a really nice uh, game and uh, where I get a high caliber medal as well. So, my thoughts on the tank for those who haven't seen the video, um, in my opinion it's one of the better, well one of the best tier 6 uh, premium vehicles you can get. It's basically a T-34-85 but not the other premium one, the T-34-85M, which is just the worst version of this. Uh, this vehicle in my opinion is way better and uh, rightfully so. It is really fun to play and it costs uh, 20 euros uh, in the bundle that you can sometimes buy can't always buy it, but uh, it comes out every now and then again, which is uh, something to look out for. <laughs> By the way, I have a three and a half skill crew on this and uh, full equipment, which is rammer, ventilation and uh, coated optics. My crew has full brothers and arms, full repairs, six and smooth ride snapshot and safe stowage. And currently I'm also working on uh, stuff like situational awareness. So uh, bear in mind that this is going to be a bit more performance than you will get in the beginning, but uh, not really a big deal, you can train the crew up pretty nicely. So, at start here, taking some shots at the Cromwell. I had a bit of bad luck with the first ones, but it doesn't really matter that much as I now get my shots in, and he takes a beating anyway. Get a free shot at the Skoda, and he kind of derps there, the pulling out and dying immediately. My opinion, the rock he was sitting behind is a bit too much of an aggressive position if you're not top tier, and I prefer going hull down in a position like this. I'll look for a shot in this M7, but as you can see I lack the gun depression and I don't really aim that very well. But uh, the second shot into the looks is going to be way better. I low roll there so he lives, which is a bit annoying. And now I sit here for too long and the VK shoots me. So what you're going to see here this game is me uh, sometimes firing without aiming. And that's one of the things that I really prefer to do in this tank. Uh, without vertical stabilizer, your aiming circle kind of goes all over the place. But the thing is you... Uh, like in a medium tank like this, especially when you can get hold down and use your strong turret or just have a low target, a small profile target for enemies to shoot at, you can really easily peek out, try to hit your enemy and if you miss, you miss. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter to me if I miss. As long as I don't get shot, it doesn't matter to me. If I get shot, then it's a bad trade. But if I peek out, I shoot, I miss, but I don't get shot back, it's all good. And that kind of is how I play this tank, really. So game has been going pretty well for us, I guess. We have won the flank that in my opinion is the most important one, but uh, the enemy team have completely caught us uh, here and we are gonna have a lot of trouble dealing with this. Our birch gun is gonna die, but uh, I am gonna fall back here to try and help our other RT aim the shot pretty well because I have no fear of getting shot. I have cover to my right and this shot right here will track the guy. I'm hoping to stop him from killing our RT, but he still manages to kill our RT anyway. However, I will now get the finishing shot, so we got 3 kills and at uh, 1000 damage already while taking only 1 hit in return, which is uh, obviously a very good trade for us indeed. So, right now, priority for me is to hold this flank while hopefully my team can kill the remaining heavy tanks on the other flank. The problem is I can't really do much here, my gun depression is letting me down, uh, the Rudy has 7 degrees, which is not that great. As you can see, I cannot find an outline there because there is a rock. Uh, I might be able to get an outline, maybe, but uh, it is really difficult to hit him properly. So I uh, decide to back out and help my team out again. Seeing as the Churchill Mark 7 also got wrecked there, it wasn't really a good idea for me to just sit there and get shot at. So I do move away into another position. And as you can see right now, the situation looks pretty dire. Uh, the enemy team is surrounding us. We are outnumbered and we are being surrounded. Now we're 7 against 7 again, but still isn't the greatest position for us. And here you'll see what I mean. I peek out, I see him, I shoot. I don't really... Well, I aim this one pretty well, but the, the shot goes completely nowhere. And after that, like... It, it doesn't matter to me if I miss shots as long as I don't get shot at. But shots like those are actually... Uh, well, I, sh I should have been able to hit that in my opinion. But I just got really unlucky with the shot, I guess. Now it's 2.34.85. On the enemy team is gonna come out there uh, behind the, the hill 
and uh, when he does so I will shoot him for free and here I don't aim but I have a pretty good chance of hitting him and I, pe I pull back immediately so he can't get a shot into me and same shit all over again so I got, did two free shots into him uh, over 300 damage and he is very mad now I will try to get a lucky shot here but that wasn't very likely to hit I might have actually been able to kill the headser there but uh, I didn't really go for it there he gets a shot back into me without me hitting him and now it's pretty much just hoping for him to peek out and make the mistake but uh, we are behind on kills uh, we're soon gonna be behind two kills so I need to make a play here I need to do something and uh, I get a bounce from the firefly which means I might have to get out of this position see the headser pop up we lose another tank which is pretty bad for us i decided to go in and kill the headser i really don't want him to shoot at us uh, if he has the derp gun he can do some pretty serious damage which would be kind of silly in a tier 6 game but uh, yeah the headser can have uh, a really uh, impactful shots with a derp gun like that uh, t 35 gets taken out which is very important now the firefly moves in that was a pretty bad shot by the way that shouldn't have shot that like that but uh he turns and uh, provides me uh, with uh, an easy uh, opportunity to pen him. So we're now four against four tanks left. I'm at four kills and this is pretty important for us that we uh, are now even because we have pressure on the cap circle and in my opinion this part of the map is the most important. You have tons of hull down positions, you have great uh, opportunities to make a play here and uh, we have the cap circle and the enemy team has to approach us which can work they were surrounding us in the beginning but now that we're kind of in even numbers the enemy team is not uh, that in that good of a position anymore i get to spot the church so i aim this one fully like i um should really but uh, the next shot he will be looking at me so i just rush it and hope i hit and i do hit so that is very nice Again, if I don't get shot back or uh, the enemy bounces on me, it's all good for me. I just prefer to avoid taking damage and uh, take my uh, chances with uh, the unnamed shots uh, most of the time. T67 was around our starting location last time we saw him and he's right there. You can see the gun depression is good enough to do shots like those, which is obviously the most important part. Now he is moving up. I did high roll him, so... By default, this one has to be a low roll and it doesn't kill him, which is a bit annoying. But his next shot doesn't pen and I finish him off. Now the Matilda YOLOs. My team is actually going to finish this Matilda off, which means that uh, pretty much uh, the only thing left to do is go and find the Arty. But yeah, if, uh, if I have to give a recommendation on this tank, uh, it pretty much is going to be uh, go buy it if you don't have it and you can. Uh, obviously, if you don't want a tier 6 uh, Russian medium or as a premium tank, then don't. But this is one of the better tier 6s to buy uh, for the money it costs. It's uh, on par with the Cromwell B, which is also really good. And they're both Berlin tanks. I would definitely recommend uh, buying both of them if you can. Other than that, uh, I wouldn't go for the T3485M, which is the other Russian tier 6 premium. This tank, in my opinion, is way better and it's more fun as well with the doggy and stuff, which is kind of nice. I'll speed this up because there's not much going on here until we find the artillery and uh, guess what I get my seventh kill here so that's the end of that game so here we go 2365 damage dealt where we got ourselves 1200 experience which is really nice high caliber top gun and uh, we got ourselves a bruiser and a fire for effect. Uh, we did damage to quite a few vehicles as well. So yeah, as you can see, uh, top of the team score, other T-3485 did a lot of work as well, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, we pretty much carried the game with our seven kills and our 2300 damage dealt. And as you can see, we made a pretty healthy profit, obviously with the premium account, but uh, 53,000 credits is very nice. So, to sum it up, in my opinion, this tank is still very worth it. Definitely would buy it if I were you and uh, train a good medium tank crew, or just play it for a lot of fun at tier 6 and get a lot of credits. Um, and that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe or leave a comment, and I hope to see you guys on the next one.